hi viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to quickly show everyone on how to display area of multiple plots dynamically on autocad so if you have your coordinates of your boundary point you can import it from excel to autocad just like you are seeing on the screen however if you are just joining us for the first time on this channel you can check under the video description to see the video tutorial on how to import points from Excel to AutoCAD. So if you have your points this way, you are expected to join them accordingly. Also, if you have the layout survey or the parcel that has been designed already, you can just use it directly. So in the course of the video, I'll be joining my points using the polyline tool. So you are expected to go clockwisely from one point to another. So that is the first step. You are expected to join the boundary point accordingly. So after that, all you have to do is to load the leaves file on AutoCAD. So make sure you have set up your unit. You can also check under the video description to see how to set up units on AutoCAD. Then the next thing is to come to your command line. Then you type app and you click on enter. So you are expected to navigate to where the libs file is. So the libs file I'll be using in the course of this video is the dynamic area. All right, so I'll be dropping this file under the video description. Please, if you have watched this video to this extent, do where to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial from this channel all right thank you so the lips file i'll be using is the dynamic area file so you click on it then you click on load so underneath you see it load successfully then you click on close so after that all you have to do next is to come to your command line then you type dyna area so this is the dynamic area so you are going to click on that so placing it you are going to see the area displayed accordingly so we are just going to confirm that this is the area for this parcel 8511.52 meter squared so for this it is going to change so it is 11678.63 and for the third parcel it is 16862.76 so let's quickly confirm with the manual way of displaying area so i am just going to click on one of the parcel then you right click then you go to properties then you scroll down to geometry and you are going to see the area so to copy that out all you have to do is to click on it then you click on the calculator icon then as you can see I am just going to copy that for this parcel and I'm going to right click then paste I'm going to, so what I'm going to do for the next parcel, click on it, then scroll down to area as well, come to the calculator icon, click on it, then copy this, close the icon, right click, come to clipboard, then paste. Then I'll do for the last parcel. Click on it, right click, go to properties, scroll down to the area, click on it, click on the calculator icon, 
and copy the area out close the calculator then paste as well so guys as you can see these are the area of each parcel then I'm just going to confirm that again with the auto leaves dynamic area file so guys as you can see the area is the same with what we have using the manual method 8511.52 meter square same to this parcel 11678.63 meter square then lastly on this particular parcel 16862.76 meter square so it is very very easier and effective method to display the area of multiple parcels dynamically without stress thank you for watching do what to hit on the subscribe icon as well, as well as turn on your notification to keep getting more tutorials on AutoCAD tips and guides. Thank you. See you next time.